Good morning. Today is July 19th, 2020, and we're looking at uh, the geese, and we are seeing some bags, bags of sand. Bags of sand here in La Cortillera means Mr. Giraldo is in someone in somewhat of his construction projects. Uh, let's say hello to Damascus before I show you what the project is. Hello, my darling. How are you, Damascus? How are you? <laughs> All right, so let's let's get straight to the reason of the video today. So we're looking at the um, Moroccan fountain. We finally have the ramp pump properly installed, and it, it took us really four tries. Uh, four different stations, all complex, uh, and we we had we set up. We realized it didn't work. We had to take it down, and we did that four times until we finally got it working with a pretty nice volume of water. So now with this fountain, several things happen. Uh, if we plug it at the base, then obviously it fills up, and the overflow, just where you see in the back end of the fountain, where you see the tile change. Uh, from that darker blue to the small tiles, there's a hole. And that overflow area, just uh, whatever water gets there, uh, basically will provide water to the underground tank where we have the car parked. But if we open the drain, the drain takes the water underneath to uh, where we have this little pond. And we can see uh, on the big hose there, uh, the one that is basically buried, it's providing water. Now, we're going to be constructing a different pond, and uh, this is going to be a little walkway, and it's this one. They're going to be connected by a tube from the inside, uh, but they're going to be uh, two separate ponds. And they're connected, but they're two separate ponds. And the idea is we're going to go, now you can see the outline. Uh, we still need to take out the, the dirt, and tomorrow, uh, uh, Duvier will be coming here to actually uh, build, construct uh, the pond. The idea is to make this a, li a nice little garden where we can have a bench, a bird feeder. Uh, we can hear the water fall in there uh, in the fountain. Uh, it's just a little project just to make this place beautiful. Uh, the hummingbirds are constantly coming. In fact, you can hear them right now. Um, and so... All these hoses are just simply temporary while we're moving water around. And uh, so uh, that's that's the project. And then the other project that's coming up, will be coming up soon. And this is a major one. Hey, geese. All right. In this uh, land, uh, because of the climate and altitude, there's a, a fruit that... Uh, we will be planting, we're going to be planting the entire farm. This is in Spanish called Granadilla. And it's a, uh, in Spanish, the, the scientific name is Pasiflora. Uh, I do not know exactly if it translates like that to English. I would have to research a little bit more. And in Spanish, we have ser several varieties. Maracuya, we have Golupa, we have Cholupa, we have Granadilla, and this is Granadilla. Uh, we have Curua, and we have Padea. Um, and there might be some others that I don't know. But the idea is we're going to, uh, starting in about four months, the idea is that we're going to be planting this, and hopefully uh, we'll be exporting this. Uh, lots of fruit trees, the rabbits there. Uh, it's beautiful. There's been a lot of rain lately. Uh, that, there's Don Pantalones, <laughs> the new rooster here at the farm. And Vika, super happy to be let out from her dog run. The hummingbird fighting there with the, the bees, because we have lots of bees too. They're called angelitas. They have no, um, these are bees with no sting. Um, and so, let's see, let's go in. See the fountain, and there we'll be concluding our video. There are two hummingbird birds. They're very territorial, chasing each other. And we obviously gave Vika a drinking fountain. Let's see, Vika, show us the drinking fountain. Yeah, there she is. Okay, so in Las Cordilleras, with the view of the fountain, and Vika and Max, 
in just a lovely morning. I will catch you later.